Sometimes reading the newspaper really gives me the creeps. People dying from toxic food, crashing airplanes, or structures that fall down. I wonder whether all of this could have been avoided. Well, there's one thing that all of these stories have in common. Quality infrastructure requirements were not or only poorly respected. Quality infrastructure? Yes, quality infrastructure, or QI for short. The aim of QI is to support and enhance the quality, safety and environmental soundness of goods, services and processes. Take the pineapple story. There are standards about growing and treating pineapples to ensure that they can be consumed without any concerns. For example, according to the standards, you are usually not allowed to use more than a fixed amount of pesticides. Laboratories inspect the pineapples and perform tests to see whether these fixed limits are kept to. If that is the case, the certificate is issued, the pineapples are safe to eat and can be offered to consumers. I see. Together, testing, inspection and certification are called conformity assessment. But there are more elements in quality infrastructure. To perform accurate measurements and tests, the laboratories need to have their equipment calibrated on a regular basis. Calibration is one of the tasks within metrology, another element of QI. Then there is accreditation, which verifies that the parties involved, above all the conformity assessment bodies, are doing their job properly. In other words, accreditation's responsibility is the confirmation of competence. Last but not least, there's market surveillance. It monitors quality compliance after a product has been placed on the market. Standardization, conformity assessment, metrology, accreditation and market surveillance are the five elements that make up quality infrastructure. All right, quite a complex network. And obviously, to ensure that our lives are safe and healthy, all QI elements need to perform well. If one of them fails, the outcome can be disastrous. Like in the pineapple case, many people suffered severe poisoning because the testing laboratory didn't identify the dangerous substances. Or what happened in China. They seem to have issued certificates without being strict enough. This plane crash in Colombia was due to standards being ignored. It carried way too much weight. The same applies to the events in Italy. The bridge collapsed because material testing was inadequate. That's got to do with standards too. With technical regulations to be more precise. Standards per se are voluntary and not legally binding. However, once a law refers to a standard in its text, this standard becomes mandatory and is called a technical regulation. This is usually done in cases that pose particular high safety risks. Quality infrastructure ensures the protection of citizens and consumers around the globe. That's why we, from PTB's International Cooperation Group, work side by side with our partners to support the development of QI worldwide and to ensure that QI is respected globally. Quality infrastructure is not everything, but without quality infrastructure, everything is nothing.